Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. Look, boys and girls, there's so much tape that needs to be cut. We have Masterpiece, we have Generation Selects, we've got Kingdom, Cyberverse, we have Netflix, we have Masterpiece, we have Studio Series 86. Is that some Transformers Prime I see? Yes, it is. What shall we open? This. Let's open this. Hello and welcome to Cut the Tape. Today's episode is brought to you by All Spark Tech Barricade. When it's not Morph Action Stealth Force, it's All Spark Tech Barricade. So, I finally got around to setting up my Movie 4 and 5 case. And this is the only All Spark Tech extra that I have. I have one of each of the All Spark Techs, but I only have two barricades. So, this is the only one I'm going to have open for now. This originally came out in 2016 for Transformers The Last Night. Well, shall we do it? If we're going to do it, let's do it. Anyway, well, here it is. Wow. First impression is, um, I did not expect this plastic to feel this way. This is very reminiscent of the evergreen brand that you see at discount stores, at dollar stores. It feels like if I were to drop this plastic from this height onto the ground, it would shatter. Well, it's got elbows, but it doesn't have any knees. No waist articulation. Now, it does have a special feature, which is the AllSpark tech. Now, how does the AllSpark tech work? Good question. I don't know. Let's look at the instructions. Okay. Activate light sound and phrases with the cube. Cubes not included. I don't know if I have any of these cubes. I might have to find a cube. Anyway, you take the AllSpark, you put it in there, and you see those silver dots right there? Yeah, you do. Don't act like you don't. Those connect to the AllSpark cube, which in turn activates lights, sounds, and freezes. I wonder if it makes light sounds and phrases and it identifies each vehicle. So if I were to put it in Optimus Prime or Bumblebee, would it make different noises than say a Megatron uh, or would a barricade like make sirens? This is my first time opening any of the AllSpark tech figures. So this is a question that is not answered anywhere on the packaging or in the instructions. Transformation is fairly simple. I will point out a positive though. Positive is it looks a lot like the movie. So for a simplified version of the character, it does a good job of representing the film. More positivity in the direction that everything snapped right into place and there's nothing left hanging. So if you look at some of the discounted toys, the evergreen toys, sometimes there's like, a, oh, that panel won't pop in. 
right? And it, it'll look something like that. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna have to track another set of these. Barricade was one per case. So that's why I bought two at the time, because I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna wait until these show up at like Big Lots or Ross, and they never did. They never did. I'm gonna have to track down that Allspark cube. I don't recall ever seeing that available anywhere. And, and then there's the chance that I probably do have it. <sighs> Woe is me. Barricade. Well, while I have you here, let's take it upon ourselves to open something else. I've recently come across my first few Kingdom figures. I've come across the Netflix figures. I've got some Masterpiece figures. But I think what I'm going to open is some Studio Series 86. Let's go with Hot Rod. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about this Hot Rod. I've heard that Hot Rod, that this is a improved version of the masterpiece bold words cotton bold words where's my trusty cutter alas my knife has up and left me but remember I buy two of each one to keep sealed one to open this one we're gonna open, so you know what? Stojevrog. If we're gonna do it, do it. We're not gonna cut the tape. We're gonna rip the tape. Yeah. Boom. Done. Woo! Now this is uh, one of the first studio series I've opened. It has a backdrop similar to all the studio series where you can make a little diorama. This is inspired by the 1986 Transformers movie, thus Studio Series 86. I love the packaging, love the art on the packaging. It's uh, still reminiscent of the Studio Series. It's uh, a new numbering system. So it's 86, and this is number 04, because this is Studio Series 86. So they're not continuing on from the Michael Bay movies. This is different, but it's still Studio Series. And now the question is, well, where does this exist on the shelf? Does it exist on its own? Or does this replace certain Chug Generations figures? For me, it's going to replace certain Generation figures. Now I really wish I had my knife with me so I can cut things and free this figure from its plastic inferno. Classic hot rod gun. Classic hot rod gun. Both based off the original toy. You got the saw. Based off the film. You got a matrix. Now, I'll give it to them. It's not every day that a hot rod comes with a matrix. So, that to me is exciting. I don't know if it fits in the chest. We're going to find out. We have a bursting effect, which does fit into the matrix to light the darkest hour. You got a touch! Oh, yeah, the power! You know what? I had the power to buy two of these. I almost want a third just for vehicle mode. I don't typically do that, but I'm a hot rod guy. I just think that's the coolest design. If there's one transformer that I could drive around in, it would be hot rod. Or a Batmobile. Just give me any Batmobile. It doesn't even have to be. It could be the Val Kilmer Batmobile. I'll take it. But I wish I could drive around in a hot rod. 
All right, it feels pretty good. It's lightweight. I like the backpack. There's no, there's not a whole lot of kibble on there. Love the big spoiler. Let's take a look without trying to do directions. I'm trying to see if the matrix will fit. It looks like it's supposed to fit, but I don't know. I don't know. That's why I tend not to transform things on the show, because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, that's not very helpful. <clears throat> so, if I know anything from the movie, this should spin around. You know what? I was kidding, but it actually does spin around. I don't know if that's actually part of the transformation, but uh, if it's not, then this is an A-plus toy. Yep. Just because it does that. And it looks like it is part of the transformation. Although that would have been crazy if it wasn't. That's cool. It's got its little uh, soldering piece right there, so you can fix cup. Got a fix cup. Oh. I did hear that the front bumper does not sit flush with... with the arms and there you go there's your Veritech mode right oh that's interesting the way the the wheels pop out of the legs that is super interesting now you know what I would have done because I'm a crazy son of a bitch I would have made two or three different hot rod molds and each of them transforms a different way based off the film because in the film he transforms a million different ways and it's just random which figure you get but in reality we're not going to do something like that that would be disastrous oh Wow. Super intuitive transformation. Super intuitive. It's tiny. It's definitely tiny. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this is tiny. That is tiny. It's tiny, but it's shiny. I like it. Wow, that is super tiny. Definitely, definitely has a feel from the film. It seems more animated, not the show animated, but animated based off the animated film than a regular hot rod toy would. Man, I'm giving this an A. I'm giving this an A+. Uh, I mean, I think the only thing it needs is a variant with, like, metal tires. Studio Series Hot Rod. A+. Plus. Love it. What do you say? Do we have one more in us? Sure we do. Now the question is, is it going to be Cheetor? Or is it going to be Warpath? Well... I've got a Beast Wars tattoo, so it's Warp. <laughs> no, it's going to be Cheetor, not Warpath. I'm just messing with you. You know what? You can get away with repainting this toy a million different ways, and I'll buy each and every single one of them. Absolutely. No questions asked. So I kept uh, seeing a lot of people posting on the Facebook that 
I found Kingdom. I found Kingdom. And I was waiting, and I couldn't find Kingdom. So I went to Walmart one day, and all the toy pallets were sitting in the, in the aisle. And I said, you know what? I'm not waiting for them. I cut open the plastic film wrapping around the pallets, opened up the cases, counted how many figures were in the cases, and just took the whole case. So that's a little weird. We took Cheetor out of the package, right? And that tail is shoved all the way in there. It means we could lose it. When I was a kid, my mom bought me the Autobot clones, the twins. And she opened it and threw away the insert, not realizing that the weapons were inside the insert. So as a kid, I never had the weapons for them. So we got our tail. Uh, the interior looks like the golden disc, nice detail. And then I noticed this. I haven't seen anyone mention this before. I'm sure everyone's talking about it, but it's a golden disc. Oh, it's a card. And we have a card for Optimus. So I'm guessing that each card will be random. Oh, oh, oh! It's a sticker, look at that. Whoa. So there's dead Optimus Prime underneath. Woo! Woo, this is glorious, I love this. That, that makes the figure for me little stuff like that come cheetor free yourself from this cardboard entrapment come to me now usually i'd be using my knife but i just had it i can't find my knife i don't know what i did with it Here we have Cheetor. I love Beast Wars so much. So when I was at Hasbro, we had this uh, thing, it was called The Hub. You probably never heard about it. But it was a channel that was a partnership with Discovery Kids where Hasbro got to basically advertise their brands with exclusive content. Thus, Transformers Prime, G.I. Joe Renegades, they aired on the hub in most places. And I kept fighting with marketing, saying, let's put Beast Wars on the hub. And they kept telling me Beast Wars is off-brand. We don't want it on the hub. We don't make beasts. I'm glad things have changed, because I do love me some Beast Wars. Man, I am going to go and have a blast with this. Whew. Feels good to hold a brand new Beast Wars character in my hand. Bring on the repaints. All right, guys. We've cut some tape. We've cut some movie tape. We've cut other movie tape. And we've caught a guy who should have been in one of the movies but wasn't but probably will be one day. That's it, thank you so much. Please be kind to each other, wash your hands, wear your masks, and remember the nightmare's over and now our country can hopefully get back on track.